Okay, we're going to start back up again. Thanks for bearing with us. I'm going to introduce two people for some uh, brief remarks before we hear from the mayor. Um, the 2018 Vice Chair, Department of Public Works Director Rudy Chow, and also Ms. Howie Blackledge. She's the Deputy Executive Director of Development for Meals on Wheels. So welcome them both up to the stage for a few brief remarks. Well, uh, thank you, TJ. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I can't hear you. Good afternoon. How's everybody? Well, first of all, thank you so much for coming here today. This is a wonderful event. Now, I want to talk a little bit about giving. Now, we're certainly asking you if you can give $5 a paycheck, $10, $20, and up, and so on and all that. However, this is not a case we're asking a few people, a few individuals, give us basically as much as they can. What we are striving for is participation. It is not about the amount of money you give. It is about your giving. Something you give, something coming from your heart. It could be very small, it could be very large, but it's coming from you. Now, you may be purchasing a hot dog at a, at a, a fundraising event and so on and all that. That is a form of contribution. And we're going to count that as your participation. So today, I want to push all of you to look forward to participation, participation, participations. Okay, I know some of you, many of you, perhaps have used United Way previously, and or know someone have used United Ways in, you know, in your, as your friend, your families, and so on and all that. Life is full of uncertainties. You just don't know when you might just need that help. You just might need that lift. So please, today, open up your heart, open up your wallet, and let's give some money to United Way. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Holly Black uh, Blackledge, who is the Deputy Executive Director for Meals on Wheels. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I want to take a minute to give a shout out to Franklin Baker when he came up and told you about United Way of Central Maryland. Did he not make a great, great conversation with you all? Our ongoing conversation to help all of our organizations uh, in the Central Maryland area. So thank you, Franklin, wherever you happen to be uh, right now. We love our partnership with, uh, with United Way of, of uh, Central Maryland. And I am Holly, and I support Meals on Wheels of Central Maryland because of our More Than a Meal uh, uh, programs that we offer to our homebound clients throughout Central Maryland. We serve clients in a 50-mile radius around Baltimore. We serve people like Clara. Clara lives in Baltimore. And Clara came to the attention of Meals on Wheels of Central Maryland because of her neighbors, you see. One day, the pipes in her home broke and her basement flooded. And her kind, generous neighbors became, uh, bring, brought bottled water over to her to help her out. But then, that is when they realized that there was more that met the eye for Clara. They learned that Clara was having difficulty navigating around her house, and that many times she actually couldn't remember if she turned the stove off or not. So, she just would not go without hot meals but her neighbors knew exactly what to do. They called Central uh, Mills on Wheels of Central Maryland. And immediately, we were able to connect Clara to our partners at Civic Works through the Baltimore program, Housing Upgrades Benefiting Seniors. And we went to work immediately on her needs in her home. When all was said and done for Clara, the pipes were fixed in her home, the flood damage was cleaned up, Handrails and grab bars were installed for better mobility, and Clara was set up to receive meals daily. So Meals on Wheels of Central Maryland is, of Central Maryland is more than a Maryland, uh, more than a meal to our homebound, um, our homebound uh, clients uh, who are homebound because of um, age dis uh, disability um, and age and disability. We have programs such as companion visits, Many times the volunteer is the only person who is seen in a day, and with that, 
uh, this gives somebody an opportunity to, to visit. We, we have Kibble Connection for Pet Food and Grocery Assistance Program and Home Improvements, as well as Case Management Programs. So come join us. Our designation number is 8094. Uh, we thank you and we're gra very grateful for you and all of your support. Thank you. there. Could you all come up to the stage, please? Folks from the mayor's cabinet, come on up, come on up. So Rudy's going to join me, and um, we're now going to hear from our great mayor, Mayor Catherine Pugh, who uh, is going to lead us in this wonderful campaign and celebration. Thank you, Madam Mayor. All right, let's give Michelle from show a big round of applause, because she's the one leading our city united way campaign today is the kickoff and i know franklin baker is he here thank you franklin diane bell mccoy franklin is the president of united way of central maryland diane bell mccoy our executive director of associated black charities michelle Pouchot, rudy child stephanie archer smith who is the executive director of meals on wheels I'm just really excited to kick off this campaign. Do you all know what this means? This means is that we, city employees, are going to step up to the plate. We're going to beat last year, the year before, the year before that, and the year before that. And that means everybody's got to do something. Now, we're not asking you to give your whole paycheck. <laughs> we're just asking you to give. You know, a dollar a week is $52 a year. 50 cent a week is $26.50. So we just need you all to, to pitch in to help us make this a great, great campaign. And if you want to know why this is important, it's because it helps low-income families really achieve self-sufficiency. We're focusing it in on how we make sure that our community is healthy. And so there are a lot of things that the United Way does, from education to housing to employment and health. Uh, for those of you who don't know and who did not participate in the Billion Step Challenge, we met the Billion Step Challenge. Yay! Of course, thanks to me. No, I'm joking. There are quite there are a, lot of, a lot of steps taken. In fact, I was looking at my watch today just to see where I am. Where are you, Michelle? Where are you? I can't speak. Where are you, Michelle? Can't, can't speak. Can't speak. All right. Because the mayor is at 11,208 steps for the day so far, with uh, a lot more of the day to still go. So I'm really challenging all of our employees to help us out and to make this a really successful campaign. Our goal this year as city employees, our goal, hear me out, our goal is $300,000. $300,000. And that's so we can help our neighbors in need and so that when someone asks for help, we're able to give it. I'm very, very excited about the work of all of our department heads, agency heads, Thank you. I'm thanking y'all in advance for all the work that you're going to do. You're going to be, repeat after me, we're going to be, we're going to be successful. We're going to have the greatest United Way campaign ever. Because collaboration, 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 collaboration works. works. And so we're all going to collaborate because we want to make sure that we're doing the very best for all of our citizens. I'm excited about the work that we're doing. I can tell you, as difficult as it may seem to be, we're still trending downward in violence. We're nowhere near where we want to be. But one death in this city, one homicide in this city is one homicide too many. 
I want to thank the Department of Public Works and Chalmers for stepping up to the plate on our 24-hour city. We got night crews now. Thank you, DPW. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank all of you, all of the agencies who participate in our violence reduction initiative. These folks get up every morning at 8 a.m. and meet over at the police department. And then at 4 o'clock they do a check-in. I was reminding folks that when we walked in Federal Hill, an hour before that we were up in Liberty Heights. We walk our city at least once a week. Where are we going today? Okay, we'll be in the Western District. Okay, we got a lot of work to do. But anyway, you all, the United Way means a lot to all of us. So again, Michelle, we're looking forward to your leadership. I know that you're grooming Mr. Chow for next year. That's right. <laughs> and he and see I know see I know how competitive Michelle is. So you're gonna have she may be little, but she's mighty. And so I know when she sets a goal, she intends to meet it. I see some of our council folks out there. Yeah. Hey, council people, Stokes, you all can come on up. I know you're going to be challenging your staffs as well. Yeah. Uh, so everybody needs to give. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, everybody here, because we're giving because other people are in need. And we're giving because we know we can. Thank you all. <laughs>